friends, and welcome back to Book Nook's online story time. Today we'll be reading Butterflies on the First Day of School by Annie Silvestro, illustrated by Dream Chen. A month before school, Rosie picked out her very first backpack. It was covered with flowers, and she loved it with all her heart. That's a pretty cool backpack. She paraded around proudly. Don't worry, she told her sister Emily. Someday you'll be big enough to go to school like me. Oh look, it's her little sister Emily and their kitty. Rosie practiced raising her hand, writing her letters, and saying her teacher's name. She couldn't wait to start school. But the night before her first day, Rosie couldn't sleep. Have you ever been too excited to sleep before a big day? Me too. In the morning, her belly hurt. She didn't touch her chocolate chip pancakes. Maybe I'd better stay home, said Rosie. I don't want Emily to be lonely. She'll be fine, said her mother, and so will you. Rosie shuffled the pancakes around on her plate. Come on, sweetie, said her dad. Time to go. Rosie slowly pulled on her backpack. I don't feel well, she said. You just have butterflies in your belly, said her mother, hugging her tight. Butterflies? asked Rosie. That's when the bus pulled up. I love you, said her mom. Have fun, called her dad. Rosie stared nervously out the window. Soon, a girl sat down next to her. I'm Violet, she said. What's your name? Rosie. As she spoke, a butterfly flew from her mouth. Rosie clapped both hands over her face. Are you okay? Rosie nodded. I have Mrs. Mancini, said Violet. Me too, said Rosie. Oh, they have the same teacher. The words tumbled out on two silver butterflies. Rosie watched them flutter down the aisle. Violet didn't seem to notice. Oh my goodness, have you ever had a butterfly come out of your mouth before? Me either. Welcome, said Mrs. Mancini as the girls entered the classroom. Hang up your backpacks, then meet me on the rainbow rug. Everyone fidgeted in a circle. Let's get to know each other, said Mrs. Mancini. I'll go first. I have a golden retriever named Barney. I love chocolate cake and I'm terrified of spiders. Violet went next. I'm allergic to dogs, she said, and sometimes to my brother Alex. This summer, I rode a train for the first time, said Jay. I want to be an astronaut when I grow up, said Allison. The butterflies built up as Rosie waited for her turn. Suddenly, all eyes were on her. Oh, she's nervous to talk about herself. That's okay. Everyone gets nervous sometimes. Rosie took a deep breath. I have a baby sister named Emily, she said. Three butterflies flitted into the air. I love to sing and play soccer. I wish I had a freezer in my room so I could eat ice cream whenever I want. The class laughed. Rosie's belly felt a little better. After that, Rosie sat at the art table. She painted a flower on a giant easel. She made one for Violet too. Then they helped Jay build a train out of blocks. From time to time, butterflies rumbled in Rosie's belly. Occasionally, one or two slipped out, but by recess, she could barely feel them anymore. Rosie dashed onto the playground. You're it, she called. Everyone raced around playing tag. But one girl stood alone under the oak tree. She held her hands on her belly. Rosie walked over to her. Wanna play, she asked. The girl nodded. I'm Rosie, what's your name? Isabella. As she answered, butterfly after butterfly soared into the sky. Isabella looked up, amazed. Feel better? asked Rosie. Much, said Isabella. At the end of the day, Rosie waved goodbye to her friends. 
She ran off the bus and leapt into her mother's arms. School is so fun, she said. Violet has a flower name like me. And Jay built a train out of blocks. And Isabella had butterflies too. Her mother smiled. I can't wait to hear all about it, she said. The words floated out on a shimmering butterfly's wings. The end.